What up YouTube, it's Nathaniel Green and welcome to King Badoja's Effects. In today's tutorial, I'll be showing you how you can bring in an environment map in Element 3D with After Effects. Let's get started. First of all, let's go to Composition, New Composition. Okay. Then you want to go to Layer, New, Solid. I'm going to call it E3D. Element 3D for short. Click OK. Now we want to go to Effects, Video Copilot, Element. When you see Scene Setup, click on that. That'll take us inside Element 3D. Right down here, if you click that, that'll open up the default setting for the environment map they have. See, if you uncheck it, it disappears. You check it, you reappears. We don't want this, we want our own. So what we have to do is go up here to environment. This is what it looked like when it's all stretched out. We click there, and if I did that too fast, you click right up in here, all right? And um, this is element 3D environment maps, you know? And you can also click on these, they're pretty cool. If you click okay, and as you can see, you can look all around 360. It's a bit blurry, but I'm going to show you how to sharpen it up to take out the blur. It's pretty easy. We don't want this though. I want to bring in my own and you probably want to bring in your own. So click here again, environment, click back here and wherever you have your environment map saved on your computer, which I have mine saved on my desktop, I'm going to click desktop and I have it saved in this folder right here. So I double click that. And um, yeah, I actually got these environment maps from DAS 3D, the DAS store. Um, it comes with all kind of CGI work, you know, and a lot of environment maps. So I brought this pack for like, what, $11? Um, yeah. So I'm going to click on this one right here. Double click that. It's letting me know that it's a bit big, you know. Um, it's not really a big deal. It's just probably like your computer might run a bit slower. You won't even notice it. Just click OK. It's all good. And this is what it looked like stretched out. Let's click OK. And here we are. This is our environment map. Now I know it's a bit blurry, but I told you. I'm going to show you how to make it sharp and clear and focused. So what we want to do now is go to, let's go over here, let's click OK. You don't see anything because we have to open it up. So what we have to do is go over here to render settings, physical environment, click that. And then scroll down to where it says show in BG, show in background, check that. Here it is. But we can't look around and orbit around because we need a camera. So let's get a camera. Let's go to layer, new, camera. And right now it's sharp because you can see it's no blur. But let's just say you wanted it to be blurry. Maybe you wanted to get some kind of depth of field look. Um, all you have to do is bring up, you know, the levels, click OK. And this when it's filled up, you'll see. There you go. See, it's blurry. Now you get some green screen of someone on there, key it out. They have a blurred background if you're into that, if that's what you're trying to do. I won't mind to be sharp. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back over here to camera. I'm going to open that up. And where it says camera options, I'm going to open that up. Right here where it have the blur levels, I'm going to click that and drop it all the way down to zero. See? Nice and sharp. Now you can play with the settings to get whatever you're looking for, but this is what I'm looking for, sharpness. I'm also going to open this up because I want to get to start to animate the, the camera. I want to have it kind of orbiting around our environment. So um, I'm going to start highlighting these keyframes. I'm going to let it play to right here. Let's shorten the time duration. And let's right click, trim comp to work area. All right. And let's uh, go up here. 
So where it says orbit camera tool, let's go to the orbit camera. And when it, you know, so when it's here, this is what it looks like. When it gets to here, this duration, we'll have our camera, we'll just kind of drag, have it lift up a little, wait, not that way, lift up into the sky a bit. That's cool, right there. And um, let's keyframe this off. All right, bring it back. And let's hit play. That's how easy it is. Also, let me pause this real quick. Also, make sure, I almost forgot, make sure this here is set for full. Because if it's set for a quarter, it will be a bit, it will be a lot blurry and choppy because it's, it gets like that so you can kind of preview it a lot faster. But once you're done with your preview and you want to make sure you have it in full. Okay, so just wanted to bring that up. But let's get back to playing this. And that's how easy it is to bring in an environment map inside Element 3D with After Effects. Hope this video was helpful. If it was, comment, like, and subscribe. Also hit that bell at the bottom right of the screen so you could be the first to get these videos when they drop. And um, with that said, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.